live on the Amazon Meeting Center in downtown Seattle. It's the Cube covering Imagine a Better World, a global education conference sponsored by Amazon Web Services. Hey, welcome back everybody. Jeff Frick here with theCUBE. We're in downtown Seattle at AWS Imagine Education. About 900 people from 20 countries uh, really coming together for the first ever AWS Summit from Public Sector Group, really focused just on education. And we've got a little bit of a twist here on the, our next guest, really coming from more of the artsy side of the house, which is always great to hear from. And we've got Linda Drew, she's the Vice Chancellor, and Andy Cook, the Chief Operations Officer, both from Ravensbourne University in London. That's welcome. Right. Yeah, well, we're Thank really you. pleased to be here. Really Excited, yeah. So, uh, for the people that aren't familiar with Ravensbourne, give us a little overview of the school. Okay, we're about uh, we're in um, <coughs> the centre of London um, in Greenwich, which is right by the river. We have about two and a half thousand students um, and about two hundred and fifty faculty, um, and we specialise in design, media, and technology and the interaction and all that kind of stuff. So, pretty fun yeah. space to be right Absolutely now. Absolutely gorgeous space to be. Yeah. And we, you know, there's so much talk about about just IT and the tech and IT and operations, mm. but there's so much neat stuff happening really more on the creative side and in yeah. the arts, leveraging technology in all different new ways. Yeah. Ab absolutely, I mean, it's, it's kind of hand in glove, really. Um, all the innovation that's happening is happening with the way that tech is disrupting what's happening in the creative workspace. Right. Um, and vice versa, really. So the, the two things are affecting each other. And the channels of distribution now, being so open, I mean, there's no greater mm. time to be an artist, a creator, because your path to publishing, your path to your audience is really, really short and yeah. direct, assuming you can get their attention. Yeah. So Absolutely, that, I, yeah. think, I, th I think uh, we recognize there's a, there's a huge opportunity there for us uh, in terms of uh, developing a competitive advantage in the sector. Right. Um, using new emerging technologies mm. to forge uh, a new path for the institution and uh, uh, help educate uh, and, and bridge the skills gap for industry. Right, so one of the things you guys do, one of the classes is, is broadcast production. That's um, right, and we're yeah. talking about all of our guys behind yeah. the cameras that nobody can see. <laughs> um, and that again is, is an evolving space mm. and you guys, it's, it's kind of an interesting play. And on one hand you're talking about Shakespearean plays. That's right. Uh, on the other hand you're looking at the newest, latest, greatest way yeah. to get that out to sure. Uh, consumers to viewers to schools mm. while training the people in the middle with yeah. the latest and greatest tools. So yeah. you guys have started a AWS uh, Elemental experiment. I wonder if you can give us a little That's bit right. of color on that project. Um, well, I can start, and um, I'll I'll tell you about the the impact that it has, and Andy might be able to follow up on some of the technical stuff. Um, we've had a project going with the Royal Shakespeare Company um, in England and uh, it's one of their education programs where what we do with is a three-way relationship between them, uh, their plays being um, shot in uh, Stratford-upon-Avon or in London um, and one aspect of what happens is that what we do is host a live program uh, that is shot in our TV production studio um, and jointly the recorded program and the live action is streamed to schools, several hundred schools at a time. Um, and some of our recent uh, shows have been reaching upwards of 85,000 school students at a time. 85,000? Absolutely. That is great reach. So we've been using the more traditional technology before and that was having some issues with um, school teachers and others that were saying they weren't getting a great service out of the live stream and our students were a bit um, frustrated with what they were learning about the streaming technologies. Since having moved to AWS Elemental, that's really increased uh, the satisfaction, um, both of what our students are learning, but also what they're delivering in terms of the, the live streamed program, and because they're streaming more than one thing, because we know that they're also streaming not just the content, but also uh, British Sign Language, uh, so they're, they're also streaming uh, uh, assigned content as well. Right, right. Yeah. So Andy, you're on the hook for actually getting these systems up and <laughs> yeah. working, right? Well, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm not sure about that, but I, I, I think Linda said it all. I think mm -hmm. the, 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 the sort of previous stack of technology that we were using mm -hmm. in this area were not reliable. Uh, we were getting a lot of dropouts with 
with the streams, lots of complaints mm. uh, from, from our schools. Um, so the shift to, uh, to Elemental has been transformational. Mm. Um, so lots of really complimentary mm. um, feedback from, from uh, the schools and the, uh, that are taking part in, the, in this exercise. So, um, it's been it's been really good. Yeah, it's good. I mean, it's just <clears throat> this, the the story over and over with cloud, basically anything, yeah. right? Is that the amount of scale and resources yeah. and expertise mm. and hardware and software mm. that Amazon can bring to bear on yeah. your behalf compared to what you can do yeah. on your own? Yeah. It's just it's just not the same. And and you're a relatively small mm. school. It's that same scale delta, whether it's yeah. a medium sized company, a big company, or a multinational. I mean, yeah. these guys have that massive scale across so many customers and you get that delivered yeah. to your uh, to your doorstep. Uh, there's, there's, uh, as you will know, there's a massive shift uh, taking place in the broadcast industry uh, away from the sort of, uh, to, towards kind of IP driven right, technologies. Right. Um, so we see this as, an, uh, as a real opportunity to develop our curriculum, add cloud technologies into, oh. into our existing courses um, and kind of go on that journey away from the, uh, the more traditional right. technologies mm. to a cloud-based approach. Now I'm just curious if you've adopted cloud stuff and more your kind of standard IT practices or where are you kind of on that journey or, or was the, the client satisfaction issue yeah. on these broadcasts would kind of maybe accelerated that adoption yeah. faster than your normal stuff? I think it's been quite closely related yeah. in some ways. So I mean, it, it's a bit kind of chicken and egg. Um, we were already looking at ways of um, enhancing our infrastructure um, and this kind of stuff came along at the same time. So we're just saying, how quickly can we get to move to some of this stuff mm. for our standard operational um, focus? So I, I think most universities mm. are in some sort of hybrid state running on-premise mm. services with some, you know, putting, putting their feet uh, sort of gently into the water of right. uh, cloud technologies, but I think we're looking at sort of really accelerating that journey uh, towards AWS yeah. uh, you know, for our infrastructure stuff. I'm curious, were you here for the keynote this morning? Yeah, definitely. Did you see the Alexa the yeah, little movie with the kids in the dorm yeah. room? Really exciting, yeah, we, very exciting. So I think that uh, one of the slides really sums up mm. um, our journey and, and mm. thoughts around um, working, working with Amazon and there's a, it's the IT sort of transformation piece. Then there's a adoption of machine learning yeah, in terms of improving the student experience. And then there's adopting sort of cloud uh, courses into our curriculum. So those kind of three areas are really where we're right. looking to, uh, to sort of build a relationship with Amazon. It's just interesting to see, you know, kind of what, what defines this new education experience, right? Because the kids have different expectations. They, they've all yeah, grown up with be. apps and mobile. Mm. You know, to your point mm. on the attention, mm. if the sum's not working, they're used to flip into another channel, yeah, right? Exactly. Switch into another input. So yeah. if it doesn't work, you, you, yeah. you only have their attention for a short period of time. So Absolutely. I think it is really interesting mm. to kind of rethink, you know, what are the actual activities that define kind of this new engagement and this new student experience yeah. while they're in your institution? And yeah. I, th I thought that was a really yeah. was a pretty great, slick demo. A great example, really good demo. Yeah. And um, some of the really uh, exciting things that have come out of us adopting this technology thus far include some students coming to us with ideas for setting up our very own television channel uh, that we can broadcast on campus um, using this technology and a way of streaming it to uh, students phones and tablets so that they've got content um, about the university and its activities right. on a regular basis. And the ROI calculation mm. for you to, to execute that mm. when it's cloud-based mm. is very, very different, right? Absolutely, It's yeah. pretty simple. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You don't have to buy a new rack of servers yeah. exactly. and, and the whole uh, and the whole to-do. Yeah. Yeah. All right, well, I'll give you the last word. Um, you know, kind of what are you hoping to get out of these couple days here? What have you seen so far? Any hallway kind of conversations that are really getting your attention? Well, hopefully, not just a deeper relationship with AWS, um, but the traction to help us work towards innovating on creativity and technology into the future. Great. Brilliant. And he goes, I'm going to go with the Chancellor, smart man. Yeah. All right. <laughs> yeah, <So>. absolutely. <laughs> and Andy, thanks again for taking a few Thank minutes and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy pleasure. the rest of your time here. Thank you. Fabulous. Yeah. Yeah. Thank right. you. Good. Shalinda, he's Andy. I'm Jeff. You're watching theCUBE. We're at AWS. Uh, Imagine Education in downtown Seattle. Thanks for watching.